Welcome to DWS Market Update. Is the European Central Bank, the ECB, behind the curve? Should the ECB tighten its monetary policy faster and stronger, given the drastic rise in inflation rates and the announcement by its US counterpart, the US Federal Reserve Board, the Fed? Inflation rates in the US and in the Euro area have risen to levels not seen in decades. 5.1% in the Eurozone and as high as 7% in the US. Of particular concern to the Fed is the fact that it is now no longer just individual product groups such as energy that are becoming more and more expensive, but prices are rising across the board. The Fed has responded to this. It has announced that it will end its asset purchase program much earlier and it intends to raise interest rates. The markets expect the Fed to hike interest rates five to six times this year. Key interest rates are also expected to rise further next year. The ECB will also want to respond to the high inflation rates. Most observers assume that the ECB will end its bond purchases this year, followed by one or two interest rate steps. But compared to the US, this looks quite modest. So is the ECB behind the curve? Let's consider two serious differences between the Eurozone and the US. First, although prices are also rising strongly here, unlike in the US, it is primarily energy prices that are pulling up the overall inflation rate. Inflation has not yet become as widespread as in the US. Second, there is a threat of wage price burial in the US. The economy has been fueled too much by too large of fiscal packages. First inflation rose, now wages are rising, at almost 6% year on year. In the euro area, negotiated wages have risen by less than 1.5%. This may change as the recovery progresses, but we certainly do not expect to reach the magnitude seen in the US. Therefore, we should not expect the ECB to intervene quite as boldly as the Fed. What could that mean for the markets? Well, rising inflation rates weigh on all asset classes, but real assets such as equity, real estate or infrastructure projects generally cope better. The same applies to rising interest rates. An abrupt, sharp rise in interest rates would indeed be a problem for capital markets. However, the ECB also knows this, and as explained, there are good reasons for the ECB to be somewhat more cautious. So, we believe that one should be prepared for rising interest rates, but one should not be overly afraid of drastically increasing rates. With that, I say goodbye until next time.